All right, so my mom has bought an electric lawnmower. She's looking to start maintaining her yard on her own, right? Her concerns are, are pretty simple. Uh, she just wants to, it to start real easily. And while there are electric start uh, gas lawnmowers, uh, we talked it through and we're thinking that battery powered might be the right option for her. It was important for her to have a self-propelled model. Uh, so we went with with this Ryobi kind of for the price sake because because you know this this is pretty expensive I mean it's 400 bucks or something uh, and and for a couple hundred more you could get like a, a Toro or you know some sort of uh, professional quality mower allegedly but anyways this is what we got so we're gonna try it out looks like it's pre-assembled so we have the charger and now we have the bag for bag mowing. Uh, ooh, it looks like a vacuum cleaner. So those are the batteries. It says battery packs are shipped in a low charge condition to prevent possible problems. Therefore, you should charge prior to first use. If your battery doesn't charge, <laughs> please return it to a certified dealer or repair place. It comes with a uh, piece of paper that says redeem your free rapid charger the product you've purchased includes our standard charger now at no additional cost we are offering to send you the 40 volt rapid charger which will charge your 40 volt battery in one hour or less if you would like to upgrade your charger please register at registerryobitools.com <clears throat> that leads us to wonder how long does it take to charge. Needless to say, we need to start charging if we're going to get to try this thing. Got this huge honking battery. The battery indicator has two lights. When I push it, they say that means uh, up to 50% charge. So I guess in theory we could test it. But let's, let's just go ahead and try this thing out. plugs in pretty easy. It went from blinking red or blinking orange, it says testing evaluate, to blinking green, which means charging. So cool, let's just set that aside and give it a lot longer than one hour, I guess. Okay, first impressions are whatever. Uh, I've already noticed that there's no latch for the battery cover. That the, uh, this Robocop housing is uh wobbly and the stickers aren't flat there's big air bubbles and on some sides there's creases but this is a very lightweight uh lawnmower so it has that going for it can't help but notice that you know crooked stickers crimped little ends I mean, if this thing is uh, left outside, it's going to look like hell real quick as all these little stickers and bubbles in the stickers start collecting dirt and grass and peeling off. This sticker is uh, in particularly <laughs> bad shape. Uh, that, big, that big bubble in it. So now there's a big crease in it. And uh, there's the bubble. Maybe we could work a few of these bubbles out. I don't know. We'll pop them down. Little things like that bother me. You know, this is like assembled in the U.S. Uh, obviously, not lovingly assembled in the U.S. It comes with this quick start guide that gives you, uh, you know, information on how to set up the handles. So it is, the mower itself is uh, fully assembled. So, you just twist that into whatever height you want. And then you'll uh, extend this to whatever you need. This is spring loaded, so it always wants to come down. So it's a two handed operation. This is uh, the key, the safety key. It's a kill switch. I guess if you're doing maintenance to it, you could remove that. Or uh, I don't think that would keep your mower secure. 
not when it ooh look at that perfectly balanced neat that's neat whoa so without the battery it's a little top heavy so it'll be easy to control interesting so on the back side this thing that looks like a, a handle is actually your your mulch plug so it'll just pull out and then if you're going to uh, be bag mowing you would put the bag here and if you're mulching you'll uh, just stick that in yeah that works okay it's a little a little wiggly but so much of this is just a little bit wiggly it is a plastic mower look at that look how light it is so i'm going to go ahead and assemble the the bag because my mom does have a compost uh pile and well it's a little compost bin but i uh i like the idea of the convenience you know i use my bag mower at home to to work with my my compost so this bag is Interesting. It vents from the side. This is the only assembly uh, that appears to be required. But the bag, you can see how one side looks like a screen, and then three sides are, are uh, I guess, airtight nylon, and then the bottom is sort of a semi rigid plastic so that it'll blow the dust out the side that might be a nice feature maybe it'll help the dust to uh, settle faster and you'll breathe less yeah i don't know so i'm a little eager just to test it so i'm going to go ahead and take the battery with its uh, let's see what it says two uh two bars of charge and there's 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 two bays here there's a storage bay and then there's the actual operational bay. It has its single point height adjustment. So let's shift that gear over. Ooh, not quite a single point because the mower's so light. You're gonna have to hold it steady. <laughs> so you need, you know, less nitpicky, I know. Well, let's go ahead and put it up to about the three inch mark. So with one hand to steady the mower, the other hand to uh, set the height that, that is pretty convenient all right let's see with the battery in yeah the still is very light and it uh <laughs> pretty well balanced i mean if you needed to put it in your truck or whatever you really i mean if you're if you're strong enough for that, i don't think my mom will be <laughs> picking this up with one hand uh but yeah okay let's Let's just give it a test. All right, the operating instructions are printed right up here. It says, pull the bell back and press to start. Oh, I gotta click it, there we go. Let's see. So this button really doesn't inspire confidence. Uh, you gotta really push it and listen. Well, the wind's up, maybe you can hear it. So the button, oh, I wish it had a more very plasticky, cheap feeling to it. Sharp edges around there, I don't know. It doesn't feel sort of like the inspiring Ah. So I don't know. That's just to psych out the, the kids. Oh, it doesn't work. You push it down and you give a big clunky push and then it'll start. Then this is your, uh, your self-propelled. Okay, so it will propel itself without the blades being on. So it will walk itself to where you want to mow. And then once you're ready, you can push the button and it'll start. Let's go ahead and swap out for the bag. I'm going to remove the mulch plug. 
going to drop the bag in the, ooh, very, very easy operation here. That's nice. All right, let's test the bag for a moment. And it does indeed collect, yeah, but why wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm going to allow it a chance to uh, charge before I really give it a test in the front yard where the, the grass is quite tall. I mean, it's, it's really tall. But all these connections, they, they, they happen very smooth and easy, so it, it's an easy battery to operate. I mean, the battery's a little heavy, but I think, I think, I don't think it's 10 pounds. I think even if you were recovering from, you know, eye surgery or whatever, uh, this would be within your, your limit for uh, carrying. Uh, first impressions is, it seems to uh, mow pretty good. I have it set kind of high. Uh, it, it, it's not picking up as much stuff as I expected it to. There's a lot of dry leaves on the ground that didn't get sucked up, sucked up at this was probably a three inch setting. Uh, and, and the drivetrain seems to be a little slow. You, you squeeze the handle and then it's like more than a second before it starts going. So it, it's not the most efficient workflow, uh, but it, it certainly is self-propelled. And if you had some longer stretches to do versus trying to use it with a bunch of little in and out detail work around some bushes or something, you know, it'd probably be okay. I think this is definitely, you know, something my mom can handle, which is nice. Hold right. this. Yeah, you pull down the little bar. This. Smoosh it till you hear it click. That starts. Okay. And your speed selection here. Okay. Walk us slowly. So to start it, yeah, you have the, the handle back. They push that button until you, you feel it or hear it click. They push it down deep and far. Oh, yeah, right there. Let go, and down, All right. Oops. Yeah, so you, you have to have that down for the blade to work. Yeah, so if you get in, in trouble or scared, you just let go, and it turns on. See, so that's what the self-propelled helps you do. So try, just try using it. Try pulling that back. Turn. That's okay. Yeah, anytime you let go, it turns itself off. And I don't want to mow those pretty flowers. Yeah. 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 They're, I don't think you have to worry about, oh, I let it turn off or anything, because it's it's a push button start. There's no penalty for so turning it off. Can you tell where the battery is at this point? Yeah. So let's see if it works when it's plugged in. Yeah, so we have two. two. Yeah, so it charged for an hour and a half. It went from two to three, and now it's down to two. I could see how if you thought you were going to mow, you just plug it in the day before. Yeah. If yeah. you remember. Careful with the his toes. Oh, well, it's not running yet. All right, she's addicted. She's addicted. All right, I'm going to put you in business. We're going to start a lawn company. Alright mama, what's the verdict? Uh, I'm happy with my new mower. It seems easier to push. Um, I'm not sure it cuts as well as a regular mower except that it's on high. 
and I have a lot of weak weeds that are falling over. But I think for the money, it's great, and for what I need, I think it's perfect. Yeah, so is it easy to start? Easy to start, because I cannot do a pull start at all. Is it easy to turn? Uh, it is easy to turn. The I just keep forgetting to turn off the self-propel. Yeah. What about the weight <laughs> balance of it? To tilt it back? Is that okay? It's very balanced. I tend to do a lot of wheelies because it's so lightweight on the front. Oh yeah, you certainly can't lean on, on this mower. Yeah. That's for sure. We did run out of juice. We didn't get the front yard finished. Uh, but we didn't get it charged all yeah, the way either. Yeah, we didn't either. get it charged all the way either. Now, if they would have shipped it with, with the quick charger that they're promising to give you if you register your mower, it would have been charged. wouldn't have been a problem. So I'm very happy with it. It's just what I need, especially as I'm aging. Yeah. It's been harder to mow. So that doesn't mean that this is the best mower out there. It just means that electric is a really good option if you're concerned about starting and the weight of the device and the operation of the device. Right. Electric is a, is a good choice, a good way to go. Right. I so. agree. Right. Love you, Mama. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I'm being a little bit hard on this mower for one thing in particular. It comes with this flyer that says review to win. So when you're shopping, you'll notice that this mower has more reviews than any other electric mower out there. Uh, the Home Depot website has over like, I think, 2,300 views. So they have worked very hard to ensure that people are engaging with this product online search engine optimizations, whatever. They they uh, they want it to look like a very popular deal. And it probably is because they hit a price point that's that's uh, you know pretty decent. And, and you can buy it at a store, which most of us have access to in our town. So if there's problems, we can return it and blah, 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 blah. So anyways, the only thing that we have proved in this video is that it works out of the box. My mom can handle it and my seven-year-old can handle it. It's way too early to know if it's a good product, if it's going to last, and uh, or if it's a bad product and it's going to break quickly. We, we have not proven that at all. So that's why I feel more comfortable saying electric mowers, battery-powered mowers, might be the, the thing that you're looking for versus buy a Ryobi. It's awesome because we just don't know. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hope this was useful. Y'all be good.